today is a free day practically so to do today is nothing except closing ceremony at 8 30 p.m I just be there see my friends one more time i will miss them really badly and the entire experience of just being here in yale for my first time in the us of a so right now since i don't have anything to do and my parents ditched me probably gonna spectate in the whatever the seniors are doing today i guess we'll see so today's gonna be an adventure until we get back for the closing ceremony last night was pretty crazy Aji, Annette and I had a few misadventures it was definitely a uh, different but still a great experience <laughs> strange to watch like somebody else do this guy's well. I saw a few of my friends in the crowd which is cool. I'm sitting in the corner but it was fun to watch. So now they're gonna go out to lunch so I guess I'll like have lunch somewhere nearby. Scholars, scholars everywhere. Yo what's up? Yo. Hi! It's us the St. Patrick Vera Senior! Yay! Hi. Oh, I look and that's drawing. No. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna freak out. The black death feet gerbil one. It was in the scholars <laughs> book. That's great. All right, nice Good seeing you. Seeing hey, look who it is. Oh my god, hi. What are you doing here? I have nothing to do today. Did you watch the ball? Yes, I did. And I heard Annette's drawing was in it. It was in it. Oh my god, she would have freaked a out. Of yes. And the black feet. <laughs> I knew it. She should have drawn more stuff. She was she gonna should draw. Have. We could have used more bold questions. Yeah, she was gonna draw um, one picture for each of the outbreaks. Wow, that would have been so useful. We could have used that as a gallery question, possibly. <laughs> she got lazy though. Oh. I think we all do. All right, so I'm back at the Omni. I was thinking of following my parents' advice and just getting room service. Um, but then I just saw Chauncey, and then I remember that I haven't tried Chipotle yet. So I'm heading back out. I wonder where they get those insomnia cookies that they gave out in the debate. Those are really good. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All I can think about right now is food. That is always awkward. There was this other guy in the elevator, and like it was just the two of us, and then he assumed for like one second that we were like talking to each other. So yeah, I like to make things awkward. Do I? No, I just do it so often that oh my god, this is not yet my floor. <laughs> Do I really want Chipotle? Dunkin' Donuts tab. I'm Robert Brown from Belgar Senior High School. She says that perfection is unattainable and that it's impossible. It's important to note that if we ever thought anything was impossible, this is what drove humanity to go the next step. We thought flight was impossible. What happened? We took flight. The winner of the Tournament of Champions' this debate showcase is, drum roll everyone, the affirmative side. That debate was so good. It was so good. The discussion was great. And both sides are extremely strong. And I can see why it was a split decision. And I was very, very much impressed. Hey, so it is currently 5.32, which means we are three hours away from finally getting the result, the material result from this. They aren't what defines me, and anyone who judges me or thinks less of me because I'm not able to achieve as much as they expect me to is not the type of person I want in my life to begin with. <laughs> 
that's what I keep on telling myself. It hasn't even ended, but already I can feel the post-WSC depression sinking in. I feel the takeaway from this so strongly in my heart. Sometimes I sound like I'm crazy and some people will never understand, I guess. Sometimes I don't understand. I really do appreciate and respect so much what Dan and the rest of the staff are doing here. Anyways, I'm just rambling. Alright, bye bye. <laughs>